Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the back of his show, world famous international Chuan Ganzog. Chuan Ganzu Ho Ho Kara 004 X 000 PG U 0 TV. Can you guess what it is yet? And of course, you cannot because I have not revealed what it is yet, unless you've read the video description. It is a new purchase. Um, I got it on Amazon with some Amazon creds that I had spare um, months and months ago and it's been sitting in a box and I forgot about it. But effectively, essentially, it is a reverse camera for a car or a front facing camera, depending on which direction you like to keep an eye on. Um, it, it sort of mounts just in a really simple way. You just sort of drill a hole somewhere and you're like back of your car or front of your car, wherever and then just plop it in. Um, and it's got these interesting features. So it's got this four pin, sort of tiny four pin plug, which in itself is quite novel. But it's got these jumper wires. And in the spec on the description, apparently if you cut the jumper wires, it does different things. Um, and that's because it has those um, parking guides, you know, where you get like the sort of green and red box to show you when you reverse if you're gonna hit the space or hit a car next to you. It does that, and I think one of them also does a flip doesn't appear, I have to admit, I had a quick look at this, it does not appear in the manual and the manual's pretty boring, you know. You can uh, pause your video now if you want to read the sort of specification sheet. Um, doesn't say what things to cut and what they'll do so we'd have to experiment with that. So I do have a means of experimenting, so I'll put that on the side and we'll just check out what other cables you get. You get clearly a video and power cable which is nice. And then you get this cable, which is super weird, which is, again, another kind of adapter cable, but it's got these sort of red fly leads off it. So I don't know what's the purpose of those, if it's supposed to be like a ground and something weird. You know, I don't see that on the uh, the picture here. I thought of, I'm gonna go with this though as the standard. So that's the power, the 12 volt power to the camera plus the video feed out, so clip those in. And even then I'm wondering why does it have to be <laughs> four pins? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so it's got the four pins because it's two video and two power, I guess. Very, very odd. So I've got my bench power supply next to me set to 12 volts conveniently, so that's rather good. I have to hook, what was that peep? Something mysteriously beeped being timed by somebody. So that effectively is all you need to hook the camera up. Because I've got this sort of composite monitor though, ugh, in all its disasterness, ground, and so this is the 12 volts and this is its ground. So I can sort of hook those up too. Or can I? And you'll notice the video screen, it's got a really weird wire that's included with it because it looks like a black and red wire on each. So the two first two pins are 12 volts and it has a black and a red wire on there just to sort of really screw you over, give, you, uh, give your brain a, a confusion. I'm just gonna hook that in like so. And then the next pair of wires just presuming they just had a sort of spare cable set and uh, use that rather than just get something with the right pin out, the right colours, it doesn't bother us, as long as we know, know that. Okay, so that's the power and the ground hooked in. So we just have two more wires and those are the composite wires, so I'm just gonna Keep hold of those while I flip the panel so we can see what's going on. And we'll just hook those up manually. Good, so power on. Mm. Oh no, there it is, it's come on. Phew. Phew. Not bad for a human. So I'm gonna put the, I think we need to get this red one in there. If we're gonna get something. Come on now. Mm. Does look like it's trying to sort of show a picture occasionally. Hmm. 
Hmm. Try the other way around. Oh. Guess I had it the wrong way round all along. Come on now. So I'm going to try to shift this into the centre of the screen. You're going to have a better look. Um, yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Hi. So you can see these lines. That's the sort of reverse parking lines you get. So if it's mounted on a on a car it'd be sort of pointing down a bit like this and you'll get those lines so I'm going to try cutting these and the problem is once I cut them these are these wires that are in line with the camera we can't uncut them so I'm gonna to have to jump at them and do something later on but I'll just show you what each one does in turn so we just sort of understand so I'm going to cut the white wire are we ready for the white wire um, Okay, I'm not sure I'm totally convinced I saw it do anything different. So let's just be scientific about this before. The camera is pointing the correct way on the bench. Yeah, so you can see my finger there pointing down. And the lines are there. So I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to turn it on because maybe it might only acknowledge those things on power up. Ah, yeah, it's got rid of the parking guides. See the parking guides have all gone? There we go. So that gets rid of the parking guides. Again, we're the right way up. So I'm going to cut the other wire. Snip. Didn't do anything. Power off. Power up. Uh, what did it do? Oh, I think it flipped the picture. I'd have to double check that, but I think the picture was the other way around, the left, left to rightiness. So I'm just going to strip the uh, wires. You can see me doing that. I'm just going to strip the wires. I'm going to rejoin that. It's a weird system, this. It could have, it could have left you a little bit longer wire in case you made a mistake. Ah, got it. So I wonder if I could fit jumpers or something on this. If they're not right. So you can see that the thingy multimeter is on the left and in the picture it's on the left. Turn that off. Turn it on. Mmm. Thinking. Come on, don't think, just work. This is rubbish, isn't it? My jury rigged setup. Yeah, the image is flipped. So the multimeter's on the left here, but it's on the right hand side in the image. So that's uh, more or less the whole functioning of this uh, little camera. I think in terms of its construction, it's really heavy. It's it's uh, quite a nice unit. I'm not going to bother tearing it down because I don't want to damage its waterproofness and there's not really too much to learn inside there, but you'll see the tiny little camera. So just to give you a, a sort of estimate of its size, it's about the same size as a thumb. So if you do need a reverse parking camera, I would suggest one of these. Um, hello. Oh, I'm upside down. And uh, yeah, the uh, it seems to work quite well. Uh, I like the fact that you've got the reverse parking guides too, which is useful too. So if you've got a way of hooking this up in your car, you've got a screen already fitted in your car, or you can buy one of those little £10 screens to sit on the dash and you want a reverse parking sensor, get it. I think it was about £13 on Amazon. Sorry, $13. I got this in the US. But have a look. You'll find them on Amazon and eBay and all over. As ever, thank you for watching. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do.